everyone, welcome or welcome back to Bookmark Chronicles. Today I'm doing my September TBR. So what's been happening in the past few months is that I set my TBR, I complete my TBR, and then I'm just like, I don't know what to read, and then I kind of just wing it for the rest of the month. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think I'm just going to keep doing that because I don't want to add too many things to my TBR and not be able to complete it. Plus, I don't want to have to push things to October because October will be Black Halloween. And September is also typically a busy month for me. My students come back this year. I also have other things that I need to do with my family. So not quite sure how much I'm going to be able to do, but I'm going to try to add a few extra things, but also not tie myself down too much. So we'll see how that goes. Starting with my monthly buddy read with Robin, we will be reading Murder of Mamone. This is the fourth book in the Tita Rosie's Kitchen Cozy Mystery series by Mia P. Manansala. In this series, we are following Galila. She is Filipino. Her family owns a restaurant. She and her best friend own a coffee shop. And in every book, somebody gets murdered and then Leela has to solve the case. That's pretty much all I'll say because this is book four, but I am interested to see how this one plays out. I've really been enjoying the series. I really enjoy the characters. I enjoy the cultural elements, so I'm excited to continue. I believe this comes out on September 1st, and I did have an arc of it, but Robin and I wanted to read it together, so I decided to wait, and now we're going to finally get to it. A couple other butter reads that I will have this month include Flamefall, which is the second book in the Aurelian Cycle and follows Fireborn. I read Fireborn last month and I really enjoyed it and I was shocked because it's YA and while there are certain tropes that are present, I had a good time with it. The conflict was great, the characters mostly were great and I'm having a good time. Also my second book with dragons, so that's fun. In this we're following Lee and Annie. They have been best friends for a really long time because they grew up in an orphanage together however they kind of end up on opposite sides of a brewing rebellion due to their past. I don't want to say anything more than that because I don't want to give too much away and I don't think I've ever actually read the synopsis myself but either way it was a good time. I like the way the first book ended and I'm excited to see where it goes. My last buddy read for the month will be The Gilded Ones by Nemea Forna. This is the first in, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a trilogy, but I do know that book three is coming out early 2024. I also have the second book, and when I saw the cover for book three, I was like, I have to start the series because all of the covers are fucking gorgeous. From what I know, in this world, young girls are tested when they become a certain age uh, to see what color their blood is. If their blood is red, then they're fine, but if their blood runs gold for some reason, then they're in danger. What that means for them, I don't exactly know, but I do want to find out. I've heard that this is much darker than people expected, but I am still excited to read it, and I hope that I like it because I bought book two because it was on sale. It was eight bucks. What do you want me to do? Plus, I really love the cover for book three, so hopefully I enjoyed this series overall. Next, I will be reading Assistant to the Villain. So... <laughs> I am on Book Talk, and there is a Book Talk creator who started the series talking about the assistant to the villain, and she turned that into a book. I like her skits a lot. It's a fantasy romance, it is Grumpy Sunshine, and I've really enjoyed the skits, even though they can be quite predictable or tropey or whatever. I am hoping that I enjoy the book as much as I enjoy the skits. So we'll see. If you're not familiar with this series, I'll leave a link to Hannah's TikTok in the description. I think it's funny. I really like it. So fingers crossed that I enjoyed this book. I had this pre-ordered, so I do believe that there are special editions with sprayed edges, hopefully. But I'm really excited to read it. Uh, I can't remember what date it's supposed to come out, but I'll put that on screen for you if you are also interested. And fingers crossed that you like it. So that is my definitive TBR for a few hopefuls or extras. I have been listening to the McLean Brothers series by Alexandria House. The ebooks are on Kindle Unlimited and the audiobooks are also available on Scribd, so I've been listening to them. The next one that I need to start is book four, so I'll probably read that and the final novella. I do want to do a series review for these and also maybe a DNF review for book two because I hated it, but I want to finish the series because I want to move on to other work by Alexandria House and on to other things that are on my KUTBR because I really need to work on that because I now have another list of things that I want to read and I haven't even made the third Kindle TBR yet so I gotta get through these as quickly as possible. Lastly, I am hoping that if I have time, we will read Arca, the second book in the Five Queendom series. I really enjoyed Scorpica and I'm very excited to see how this story continues. 
In that first book, we are following different perspectives in the different queendoms as they are going through what they call the drought of girls. For some reason, little girls are not being born anymore and they're trying to figure out who is going to continue to lead these queendoms if they no longer have queens. That is pretty much all I'll say. There are different types of magic that are showcased throughout it and I really enjoyed the world and the violence honestly there were some brutal scenes that i was not expecting and it just added to the enjoyment because i was surprised and i like being surprised so i hope that we can get to this too and uh, i'm really excited to learn more about this series this one just came out this year so i don't think we're gonna get book three until hopefully sometime in 2024 but i can't wait to see how all of this ends up so those are the books that i plan to read in september let me know if you have read any of these or if they are on your tbr otherwise that's all i have for you today and i'll see you in the next video